Hello everyone, I'll be demonstrating how to create a bootable USB drive for Ubuntu 18.04 operating system using Rufus. So you'll need uh, the ISO file for Ubuntu 18.04 and you can download it from www.ubuntu.com by clicking on 18.04 over here. And to download Rufus, you can go to this particular link and uh, click on Rufus 3.4, which is the latest version as of now. The download links for the both of these will be provided in the description of the video. So once you have downloaded uh, both of them, plug in the USB drive which you would like to use and once you have made sure it is detected, uh, click on Rufus. So yeah, this is how it should look like. So this is uh, the name of the uh, USB drive which you have plugged in that is going to appear over here. If it's not appearing, you can select it from the drop down over here. Now the boot selection, uh, you have several options for that, non-bootable, free DOS, disk or ISO image. Since we're using ISO image, let's select disk or ISO image as our option. And now it, you have to select the ISO file and go to the location where you have stored the uh, ISO file and select it and click on open. And the partition scheme um, is either MBR or GPT. So by default it is MBR and then I'll be selecting MBR itself and rest of the settings let it be as it is and click on start so it will ask whether to write in iso image mode or in the dd image mode by default it is iso image mode and which is recommended as well so let's keep it in iso image mode itself all data on the device will be destroyed so if you're okay with it uh, just click on okay and as you can see the process has started it will take some time so yeah, it's almost done. Let's uh, wait for it to complete. And I'm using Windows 10 operating system to create a bootable USB drive for the Ubuntu 18.04 operating system using Rufus. It's uh, ready now, as you can see over here. So just click on close and you have completed the uh, process of creating a bootable USB drive for Ubuntu 18.04 operating system. After this, you can safely eject your USB drive and now you can install the operating system. Thank you so much for watching the video.